Hello there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka Bangladesh. Today I'm doing few reviews for you and the second episode I'm doing right now, it's gonna be House of Dior. Uh, I, I heard they are not calling this a Privé line anymore, I don't know what's up with that, but I call it the Privé line, their niche line. And this fragrance is gonna be Oud Ispahan. I covered a few clones of that fragrance on my journey, uh, but thanks to Dr. Jeffrey, you know, like always great community members giving me the support to create content, right? So I wanna review this, I'll let you know my thoughts on it. And I'll be reviewing this on the piece of paper and I'll let you know shortly why. Uh, this fragrance, um, I actually, honestly speaking, let me just show, I went reverse. I tried a clone and then I'm trying the original one. I tried it long time back, but I didn't have it to review. This fragrance I had before, Oud Touch by Frank Olivier. Uh, this is basically a very affordable clone and it's very highly regarded in community. Trust me, this is a cheap fragrance, but people know this as great fragrance, you know, longevity, projection, and the thing is, I did say I have quite a fair bit left. I did review another one called uh, Oud Veni. I have it somewhere, but I cannot seem to find my bottle. Uh, I reviewed that kind of like six months back. That one is more tame version of Oud Ispahan, right? So let's review this. This one comes in a uh, few bottle sizes. The one I have today is, I think, the 40 ml version was that size. EDP concentration, and this is a 40 ml version, okay? This is the smallest, I believe, and they're like little bottles like these ones that are miniatures. I'm gonna show you those in my collection as well. But uh, this fragrance I heard cost still, the 40 mil goes for 170, $80. But if you buy a think no, I think it's about $150, you know, in Bangladesh, one seller is selling. Uh, he's told me I wanted Faith Delicious, but it got sold out sadly. I really wanted Faith Delicious. That's my number one so far, you know, and uh, Baudar Jean, you know, some of the other ones, but. Oris Pahan, this one is 150 bucks for 40 mil, not cheap. Niche pricing and the bottle is like this, okay? This one is a very simplistic bottle. Dior Savoy, basically, if you do not know, I think is inspired by this line. Look at the caps, okay? The cylindrical bottles. And you also see the usage of magnetic tops, okay? This ones, I think, are the first ones to basically start with the magnetic top, which you get here as well. Uh, got this nice prayer, says CD. Okay, cap says CD in there. You'll find CD and base. I think is this sticker? Nope. Uh, I don't know what's up with that. But oh, the batch code is written here. Like all the stuff would be written on the rim of the bottle and got this nice glass base. Nice little simplistic sticker. Pink juice. Uh, don't be fooled by that. Cap got weight and very good. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's good, but a little bit moves a little bit. You know, it, you can pick it up. Not that heavy, but it doesn't really. Mm, mm. It's okay, not bad. So this one has two versions, okay? Previously, the first, uh, when it was released, this fragrance was, uh, that time, you know, that's the first release. Then I think that one is considered as vintage nowadays. They re-released it. And the perfumer for this is Francois Dimashi, as I remember his name. Uh, this one, people say the reformulated ones are not strong enough. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll see, okay? So this fragrance is expensive. This is the name is right there, Oud Ispahan, right? So obviously you expect Oud. What kind of Oud? Fragrantica says opening top notes are labdanum. Base no, uh, sorry, middle notes are rose, patchouli, saffron. Uh, base notes are agarud, sandalwood, cedar. Simplistic note breakdown, straight to the point. Doesn't play around so much except the patchouli and rose. Uh, the reason why I'm putting this on the paper is that first of all, I thought I was going to love it and I don't. Um, the thing is, uh, it, hold on, you know, I know many fans of this fragrance out there and many of you do not watch the whole review. Sometimes you see two minutes and you think like, oh, he hates it. Why does he hate my favorite fragrance? Different people have different nose, different liking, different weather condition, different skin, different preferences, right? My preference towards this fragrance is even in dead of winter, very cold weathers, this fragrance, it gave me a headache. It's massively loud, nuclear the oud in this at first you find it's kind of like sweet got this nice opening and uh, you know it's gonna be like a more wearable like version of middle eastern oud man this fragrance goes animalic okay and uh, let me show you another fragrance that i have similar to this same house which is called leather oud i reviewed this okay this is a miniature next to it is a baby this one has a yellowish juice i don't know if this is discontinued many people say they find this fragrance unwearable and this is too animalic for their liking okay let me give it a quick sniff i think the leather oud it's more like a the oud ispahan meets kuros okay 
and they add some leather but it has a skanky vibe which i actually like i can wear this i like this over this one it will spawn do you know why because i don't know that's how it works i put this on my shirt here here when i got this first time i just wore it on the first thing in the morning you know didn't have breakfast nothing and i got a massive headache from it i couldn't breathe it literally just choked me and uh, this is not the fault of this perfume perhaps i wore one too many sprays one too bit too much bit much <laughs> um, i think this fragrance it's really nice very good quality very good push i just didn't find it wearable okay that's just my opinion and i respect yours if you love it equally opposite direction if you like it love it 10 out of 10 great but i do like the sweetness of fifth delicious which i find it very wearable this fragrance for me you need snowing you need literally snowfall okay uh dead snow kind of movie you want to watch in the snowing day on the cabin uh, hot cocoa this is good you can wear it with a leather jacket perfect beautiful fall winter scent for canadian brothers and sisters but our side this fragrance <laughs> it would be tragic if you know you know like there's a fragrance called tragedy of lord george i like that name and this is, could be like tragedy of lord Ood, you know <laughs> Oud is not my most favorite note, even like I, I'll tell you one thing, Oud, Saffron, Rose combo sometimes can be made wearable, most time if it's leaning towards the animalic side, this is animalic. So doesn't have any castorium, doesn't have any uh, civet, none of those, no skanky leather, nothing like uh, oak moss, but it has some agarooth, sandalwood, cedar and patchouli. So this is kind of like a sweet, dirty, skanky Oud which is nice sweet up top but as time progresses it gets very animalic so full respect full power i really like the way it smells it, it smells more definitely more quality than wood touch but for the price difference if you like this if you find this too pricey you can easily buy this for 20 25 bucks in bangladesh and this is 100 ml bottle it's a little bit synthetic you expect that but dry down they're very similar if you ask people people wouldn't be able to differentiate but opening this one shows the magic it's a lot more smoother a lot more quality ingredients okay so in that way respect to dior's uh, udis pahan i thought i was gonna like it but surprise surprise i don't i don't think i will ever buy that one because i feel uh, udis pahan is not right for my country or weather so let me show you the other two i have i have two other miniatures which i love uh, these two i really love body or jean my favorite from this line and this is patchouli imperial very beautiful fragrance this patchouli i think i can pull i'll try to uh, review uh ember nui i think ember nui right here yeah. that fragrance many people said good things about it see if i can find it thanks very much for watching uh udis pahan i'll give it for the smell and uh, for unwearability for me i will give this a seven out of ten with all due respect great performer great bottle and uh Oud lovers will actually enjoy this. If you like Oud Rose Combo, you can try it. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Okay. Thanks for watching. Time to move on to the comparison video. Take care. Bye-bye.